This time we're going to do a more complicated uh, process. Let's say we want to make several changes in the process here. So I might decide, for instance, I'm going to take my oven production and bring it down here. And I'm going to move as the sky to do the stack parts here just to improve my flow here. So I've made some changes to these two here. And let's say over here I decide that I want to take the wheel install and move it down here. Right? And now I'm going to request an update to this attached tray package. Now the program internally actually knows everything that's been changed. So if I request an update to any package, like this one here, what it's going to do, it's going to update this one, the attached tray, the mount wheels, as well as the stack parts and the mold parts, even though I've already made these changes and I've moved on to somewhere else. As soon as I click on the package, it's going to start building the new package to make all the changes here. As you can see, it's working on the attached tray. And this will take a little bit of time, obviously, because it's going to keep on uh, going back, retrieving the previous versions, bringing the pieces in to build the new ones and so forth. But again, it's a lot better than doing it manually. And now it's finished, you can see here, it's telling us exactly what it did here. So here it changed the mount wheels, it changed the stack parts, it changed the mold parts, and it changed the attached tray. And it's telling you all the moves it's made here individually here. You can see it's also bumped the revs, for instance. Our mold parts and the stack parts, they move from rev 2 to rev 3 here. Right? And then the attached tray and the mount wheels move from rev 1 to rev 2. So it's bumping the revs here. If you want to see any particular one, like I want to go to my stack parts, I can just find any of the records that represent the ver uh, version ID 3, double click on it, and it will bring it up here. And here you see the uh, the individual steps, the oven process, the cleanup and so forth. And here's the oven process put in there with the details moved over here as well. So this can save you a huge amount of time in terms of creating and maintaining the packages for all the stations in your line.